Hi guys, welcome to the tetrahedron chemistry classes. So in today's lecture we will see how we can learn the spectrochemical series. See as you know it is uh, very important to know the ligand field state especially uh, when you uh, learn crystal field theory. And you know in crystal field theory if you want to uh, calculate the crystal field stabilization energy, the magnetic movement and other various other properties of the complexes then it is very critical to learn the spectrochemical series but the problem is that the spectrochemical series is quite lengthy and it is not possible especially for the beginners to uh, remember the correct exact series and one more complication is that in different textbooks uh, this uh, spectrochemical series look like different ones right that means uh, different text uh, gave uh, uh, different types of the spectrochemical series but uh, here in this particular lecture, uh, I have designed a technique to exactly learn the spectro exact spectrochemical series, which is uh, given uh, in the Hui uh, inorganic chemistry book. As you know, the Hui inorganic chemistry is the standard uh, inorganic chemistry book, uh, which is very important for the CSIR net examination also. In fact, uh, most of the questions asked in the CSIR net examination and in the IIT exam actually straight from they come straight from the Hui inorganic chemistry book so this is a spectrochemical series is exactly uh, the spectrochemical series which is shown in the Hui inorganic chemistry book so what you have to do you have to learn only this particular poem type of thing you know so however it is uh, difficult for the people who don't know uh, Hindi so uh, but they can mug it out as such so uh, the uh, uh, poem is just like that is इस भ्रम से सच नहीं छल फैलेगा नहीं उतरेगा अकस्मात जल में नाश होगा गली में अमन नहीं पाएगा इन दिनों फिर नित माथा फोड़ेगा चैन को तरसेगा सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन गो एंड व्हाट यू कैन सी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर पोयम आई हैव रिटर्न सर्टेन वर्ड्स विद द रेड लाइंस so you can uh, underline the red uh, which uh, the red uh, uh, the red words which i have uh, underlined with the green pen and you can see so this is say i this is iodine this is br bromine s is the sulfur s c n is the thiocyanide right and cl is the chlorine f is the fluorine n3 is the nitride then u r e a urea then ox is the oxalate jal is actually h2o you know in hindi uh, water means jal. So jal is H2O here. So NCS is again uh, the thiocyanide type of thing in which the donor and, and atom is different. Now you see next is GALY that is uh, glycyanato and what you can do uh, you can eliminate this A and you can write A here glycyanato it would be quite easy right. Uh, May Hindi you can uh, the Hindi words you can escape right. Then Aman AMN that is ammonia, PY is the pyridine, EN is the ethylene diamine, DI is the dipyridine, PHE is the phenyl, NIT is the nitro, NI, uh, nitro and O2 negative, then MATH is the actually the methyl and PH is the uh, another your uh, ligand that is phenanthrolene and CN is the cyanide and CO is the uh, carbon. So here I have arranged all this. So I, B, R, S, C, N, these all are arranged in this particular, in the manner in which they are given in the poem. And this is the ligand field strength increasing, right? And if you see, uh, general, in the, uh, one more concept you can learn, in general, in general, not strictly speaking, but in general, if the donor atom in a particular ligand, they all are the ligands, if the donor atom in a particular ligand is the halogens like chlorine, bromine, iodine, etc., sulfur or oxygen, then such ligands are the weak ligands, right? And uh, those ligands in which the donor atom is carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus, they are generally the strong ligands. But the problem is that this uh, with this ammonia, you see this NH3. This NH3 is quite notorious one because in some cases it act as a strong ligand in some cases it act as a 
weak ligand. However, you can see if you count the total number of uh, the ligands in this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. You see, uh, uh, near about 24 ligands are there, and you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, this ammonia is actually more close to the strong ligand field region, but in some cases it act as strong ligand field and in some cases it act as a weak ligand field. So you have to consider these things also and I will go through this uh, spect uh, crystal field theory and the aspects of the coordination chemistry. Then I will discuss in which cases your NH3 would act as the strong ligand in which, and in uh, which cases it act as a a weak ligand, right? So, so far it is very very important to learn this one and this particular topic is quite important as you can see here for J examination, CSIR, NET, GATE, BTEC first year students who are currently uh, uh, taking admission in the BTEC first year and also for the BSc students. This is very very important and this is the most easy trick to remember the complete spectrochemical series. And this spectrochemical series is the exact match of the spectrochemical series which is given in the uh, Hui inorganic chemistry book, right? So guys, if you uh, like uh, this explanation or this particular poem and the way to learn spectrochemical series, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can have all the latest notification. Thank you. Thank you very much.